I'll be showing you how to customize your Shopify checkout. We're going to start from the very basics here and we'll slowly progress up from there. So first let's dive into the basic checkout settings. We can find those on the left hand side here of our Shopify admin. I'm going to head to the bottom left here under settings. We'll see a bunch of different ones on the left hand side but we want to click the checkout one. And this brings us to the overall checkout settings here. So I've just zoomed in a little bit and let's go over the things you can customize. First up, we have the customer contact method. And so this is going to be the contact method customers enter at checkout, receive order and shipping notifications. So you can do phone or email or just email. Now to note to use SMS updates, you'll need an SMS app installed. So just have this as email here. We can also specify whether to show a link for customers to track their order with shop. So this is Shopify's shop app. And you could also require customers to log into their account before checkout. Now most merchants are probably gonna wanna leave this off. as It's gonna help increase friction during the checkout sequence if you have this tipped off. We can see it's suggesting that there as well. Next up, you get to decide what type of customer information you want to collect. Whether it's just the last name, or you want first and last name. If you're selling B2B or wholesale, you might want to require a company name to be included. Recommended not to include it. The second part is address line two. Optional is recommended. And you do want to leave this as optional, even though it does add an extra field because many people might have an apartment or a unit they need it to be sent to as well. You can also require a shipping address phone number. By default, it's going to be ticked off as don't include. Next up, there's marketing options during the checkout sequence. So it's going to be a checkbox for customers to sign up for email or SMS. You do need their consent to start marketing to them while collecting their email or phone number during the checkout sequence. So for email, we can have the pre-selected checkbox just to be the United States. This seems to be recommended by Shopify, or we could do all regions. We can even specify which ones by clicking the edit button. And if you want to disable any of these, you can use the toggles here. We could also customize the labels, clicking that customize label button. And this brings us to our Shopify theme editor. We can go and customize the actual text here, such as you are subscribed or email me with news and offers. And so we could change this to whatever we like here. Next up is tipping. You can enable tipping during your checkout sequence. By default, it's off. Next up, we have Shopify's own abandoned checkout emails. So if you're not using an external app like Klaviyo or MailChimp that's sending those abandoned cart flows out, you could enable this one here and you get some basic customization when to send it. Next up, we can customize our post purchase page. So if you have an app, it's going to show up here. We can also add additional JavaScript. And I recommend not editing this unless you know what you're doing here, but it can be used for tracking and setting up one of these apps here or adding the additional scripts. It's going to show you what to do and setting that up. The last few options here, we have the checkout language. So by default, it's going to be English. We get some advanced preferences on the address collection, whether we want to validate that, it's probably a good thing to do is you want to make sure customers are sending it to a real address. And you can also allow shipping and billing addresses to be different or to match. You can also set a maximum as well for the amount of items someone can add to cart. So overall, those are our basic setting customizations. Now let's go into customizing our checkout. Now you should see a configuration section here or it should prompt you to create one, but I'll hit customize. And this is just going to open up our Shopify theme editor under settings, and it's going to have our checkout page open automatically. And here we can customize some things such as our logo, which you'll probably have set up already. And we can also customize the checkout header. Let's say we want this to be really large. We can make it really small. We can set the logo alignment, positioning. We could also add a background image if we wanted to. And you can change things like the color of the checkout or the fonts, as well as the checkout page, whether it's a one page checkout or a three page checkout. I'll just leave it as the recommended one page checkout. Now, Shopify doesn't give you a ton of options here in terms of adding external apps or anything like that, but their checkout is a tried and true one. I believe it's, if not the biggest, one of the biggest checkout softwares in the world and it processes tons of volume here. And it's been designed to convert very well. It's really quick. It does exactly what you need it to do. There's also an address autocomplete setting. And so you should probably leave that enabled. I'm assuming it does help with conversions and getting people through the checkout process faster. Now, once you're done with these settings, you can hit save in the top right. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can truly understand how profitable your store is. It's going to include tons of different metrics, analytics, and charts 
so you can have a clear understanding of your store's performance, allowing you to make smarter business decisions, sync seamlessly with all your favorite ad accounts and many cost of goods sold providers. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself and I'll leave a link in the description below that's gonna bring you to the Shopify app listing directly. You could also search for it in the Shopify app store and look for the logo of ProfitCalc in the top left here. Again, there's a 15 day free trial so make sure you check that out for yourself. There's a link in the description below. Now from there, we can customize the checkout process further using Shopify's own app called Shopify Checkout Blocks. This is available on the Shopify app store, but it's gonna allow us to customize the order status and thank you pages with content blocks. But to note, features are gonna be set to your plan as well as to unlock quite a few of these features here, you do need to be on Shopify Plus. So I'm gonna just hit install here. And to note about this app, this is going to replace the existing thank you and order status pages. If you're comfortable with these permissions, we'll click install here. So I'm going to pin this app here just so we can find it later if need be. And so we're shown here a great block screen. We can go and create these blocks. Now, in order to know what blocks we actually want to include, let's go and view our checkout thank you page and order status page for our store. So from the left-hand side menu, I'm going to right click this and open it in a new tab. This is going to open up my Shopify themes section. I want to go and customize these settings here I'm going to open up my Shopify theme editor I'm going to click on this top selector I'm going to go down to checkout and customer accounts and there it's going to open up our checkout that was shown before and under the top menu here if I click the drop down again I can see my thank you page and my order status page. So I'm gonna right click these, which I'm not allowed to. So I'm just gonna click into the post purchase page here. And here we can see what it looks like currently. If I change back the font and the color, you can see the default order status page. And to note, you can't add or remove sections in here manually. But if we go to sections in the top left here, well, we can add our blocks. If I click add app block here, any existing apps are also gonna show up here. If we click on this add app block button, we scroll down past all the other apps, we can see the checkout blocks, which we just installed. So let's go and add some static content. Just call this checkout text, random text. I could change the font size, the appearance, or if it's collapsible. And I can also then drag it around on the page, depending where I want it to. But this allows me to add different content to my thank you page, customize the post checkout experience. To note, other than that, you do need to be on Shopify Plus to fully customize the checkout experience as you then get access to the checkout liquid file. This concludes the video on how to customize your Shopify checkout. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.